man. He speaks multiple languages and he has his own native channel. And today he's going to inspire us. So, Carlos, could you please tell a little bit about yourself? Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you for the interview. Uh, my name is Carlos. I'm from Peru. Um, I currently live in Germany. But uh, in this time, I'm staying uh, for some uh, for some weeks for, for some weeks uh, in Spain. Um, I'm a programmer, uh, but I love also learning uh, new languages. Okay, so Carlos, how many languages do you speak? Uh, by the time I speak, I would say I speak uh, nine languages um, oh, wow. quite quite fluently. <laughs> Um, and I'm also trying to, to learn um, six languages more at, mm -hmm. at the same time, but uh, yes. Wow, that's great. So could you tell us, like, what is the best way to start learning a second language for a complete beginner? Well, there are, there are different methods to, to learn a new language. I think the most important when you start to learn a new language a new language is to find a motivation. Mm -hmm. uh, whatever the reason is, you want to learn a new language, maybe because you, you would like to travel uh, abroad or to work abroad or to study abroad. Mm -hmm. um, I think this, this motivation will help you to remain motivated the long, the long, um, the long way. Um, and yes, I consider this to be the most important tip uh, for people who want to learn a new language. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, that, okay, that's good. Uh, I, I know that the motivation is very important, but some people like they are complete beginners. They don't know the grammar, the structure, and when it comes to starting, they lose the motivation, and mm -hmm. they think like there there must be some other way, like some other method. So when it comes to method, what would you recommend? Like the grammar, the structure of the sentences, or just learning it all naturally? Um. I mean, if people have the opportunity, for example, to to get in contact with native speakers, mm -hmm. this is also a very um, a very important uh, part of the process of learning. But mm -hmm. um, I would also recommend you, for example, if you have the opportunity to 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 get in contact with um, also with a tandem partner. For example, that, that mm -hmm. was my case when I was a star, when I was a star, uh, when I started to learn French uh, in mm -hmm. Germany, mm -hmm. and uh, this this helped me also to 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 increase my motivation because, uh, for example, uh, my friend was trying to learn Spanish mm -hmm. and I was trying to learn French. And okay, I would not say it was like a competition, but you know. For example, next week we met, and he he knew other words, and I wanted to to uh, to improve my my language skills, and so this also helped me to um, to to remain motivated. But uh, for example, I would recommend you, uh, I would recommend all language learning learners, for example, to um, to use internet. Internet for me, it is a, a very important a tool to learn languages because you find a lot of information out there. For example, you have YouTube, you have the internet where you can download, for example, audiobooks uh, mm -hmm. or find exercises and. Um, I read some years ago also an article saying that speak um, um, <clears throat> listening, for example, uh, it's really really important. So I think eighty percent, eighty percent of the, um, the, the the knowledge you get in in a language comes from well, from hearing. Yeah. Yes, and so for example, that that was that that it was also my case. I started to watch movies. With absolute subtitles, I recommend not to watch subtitles because you you tend with the time to rely on uh, on them, and I think mm -hmm. this uh, is um, yeah this doesn't make the process uh, natural. And yes, uh, it's not it, it is not uh, important to understand everything. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, if you watch a movie uh, in a new language for the first time. But this will help you to sharpen your your ears with the time. You will uh, mm -hmm. you will have to, uh, a feeling when you um, when you hear a new a new language. And this is also important. And um, speak speak too much as possible, even if you don't have someone to, uh, to practice with. Just mm -hmm. 
just practice uh, with yourself, uh, try to say your ideas out loud and uh, try to imitate conversations. And this, uh, this, will, this will also help you to, um, to improve. I mean, there are, there are plenty of methods and yes, um, to, to learn, to learn a, a, a new language, yes. Yeah, that's great. Like, I often see that people, they have many resources, like they have internet, mm. teachers, tutor, mm -hmm. books. And when they have too much stuff, they all get confused. And what happens? They start procrastinating. And then they, they just give up. So what is your solution for that? Um, I mean, you have to... Um... You have to learn a new language um, in a progressive way. I mean, um, you know, you say there are a lot of stuff out there and people get confused. And uh, I think um, I, would, I would go step by step. I, if I am a beginner and I don't have too much experience when learning a new language, I will try to, um, yeah, to go step by step and and don't get frustrated because people normally tend to get frustrated if, if they don't don't get it uh, they say mm -hmm. oh english is too complicated yeah. uh, i try to because they get a lot of information and mm -hmm. and this is also a um, part of the, uh, part of the process of learning a new language and yes um well i have no solution uh, i i think <laughs> the most important is um, to go step by step and, and don't get frustrated if maybe after two months of learning or, you know, uh, you don't get to, to, to learn a new language. It also depends too much, uh, uh, for example, what language you, you want to learn. For okay. example, if you are a um, Russian speaker, maybe it is easier to, to learn I don't know, um, for example, a Slavic language, because they are related languages and the process will be easier. Mm -hmm. And in my case, for example, as a, sp a Spanish speaker, for me, it is easier to learn Italian or Portuguese. And mm -hmm. it, it also depends uh, on the language you want to, to learn and what is your native language. And mm -hmm. yes, so this is... Um, I would say all step by step and um, and be patient uh, too. Yes. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that is what I see. Like people, they want you know instant results. They want to get results right away. But learning a language is like you know a progress. You know we have to go step by step. Yeah, that's really great. So Carlos, Wait. could you please uh, mm -hmm. tell us your experience? Like you speak English fluently, and it is your second language. So could you please share your experience? Uh, with um, when English learning, learning. Language. yeah. Well, uh, I I learned English. I started to learn English a long time ago. I mean, when I was at school, it was uh, my first foreign language that I learned. Mm -hmm. And with the time, I mean, a programmer, I normally um, find a lot of information related to my to um, to my career in English. And I think that has helped me a lot to um, to improve my English. I don't I don't normally speak English because um, I work with a German uh, I work with German um, companies. And mm -hmm. yeah, there were some situations where I had to mm -hmm. speak in English, but I normally speak only um, in German. Mm -hmm. But I think the most important is I, for example, I watch a lot of videos, a lot of tutorials in English, and mm -hmm. I think this, this helped me uh, a mm -hmm. little bit to, mm -hmm. to, to keep in fresh my, my English. Um, mm -hmm. but, um, yeah, so I, I, for example, I consider this to be also a, a very nice tip, because if you learn a new language, you can use it, um, you can use it in different situations in your daily life. For example, at work, um, English is very, very useful for me at work because I normally uh, use English for finding information. To, um, yeah, uh, for my career. To, and yes, and this is also yeah, uh, a nice tip. So. That's great. And yes. what and what kept you motivated to learn English? Uh, yeah. Well, to 
to get it, to get new opportunities. Um, that has helped me to to get a job in Germany, and mm -hmm. that's why I started also to learn uh, German because I moved to Germany. Mm -hmm. And I consider uh, learning a new language will help you to to get uh, to get new opportunities in your professional life, in your private life, um, and and yes, maybe there are also people. Um, I mean, it 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 it's education. I consider languages a part of education a part of the, um, progressing in life because there are around the world there are people um, who are poor and mm -hmm. and nowadays it's really really important to to speak to be able to speak English at least mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. it's an international language mm -hmm. and this will help you as I said more opportunities to um, to go farther in life, yes. Yeah, that is what I tell everybody, even my students, that without English, there's no success in your career. We cannot become doctors, engineers, like in every field, we need to learn English. Yes, uh, yes absolutely. Yeah, I believe to, you know, to make our business bigger, to go abroad, to talk to people, to communicate with them, we must know English. Yes, yeah. and you find a lot of information uh, English. I think English is the most uh, extended language on, on the web. Yes. It is, it is. And I also see that people try to learn like vocabulary, like, you know, words and their meanings. And after learning a long list of those words, they still get confused. And I believe the best way to learn a language is to just learn phrases, not just a word. Like, like when mm -hmm. you learn a complete phrase like you you see like that is a dog he is hungry so when you learn the complete phrase you learn the sense of it you learn the correct structure and you learn how to use it so what do you yes. think uh, like what is the best way to learn words is it learning phrases or something else as you said uh, to learn new words in phrases because you learn a word in a context yeah uh -huh. um, if you learn a list of words and mm -hmm. you don't know exactly because mm -hmm. sometimes it's tricky, a little bit tricky, the mm -hmm. translation in your in your native language. And when you mm -hmm. want to use uh, this word, uh, then it doesn't. It, it means another thing as you as you learn it. Uh, so I can. That, that's why I consider to to learn a new word in a context um, yeah. and not with. A list of vocabulary and no. And another tip, for example, when you learn a new a new word, is try to use it as much as possible in the next minutes. Uh, yeah. For example, exactly. uh, try to repeat it again. And yeah, that would that uh, would help you to improve the, and to learn quickly a new word. Yes, uh, that's great. <clears throat> and how can one master the pronunciation? Accent. Pronunciation to master pronunciation. I think that comes with the time. Uh, there's okay. no magic uh, powder, I would say. Um, mm -hmm. I think this comes with the time. For example, um, in my case, for example, to um, to to improve my pronunciation to, uh, in German language. Uh, um, yeah, the, the 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 way was long, uh, mm -hmm. and it helped me not. And it helped me to be there in Germany. That that was, um, but you don't need to 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 be in a country um, in the country um, to to master the pronunciation. I mean, it it comes with the time. The more you hear, the better you will you will be. And uh, yeah, it take take your time. I would say, and mm -hmm. uh, don't get frustrated if your pronunciation. Is is by the is by the time, for example, not not the best. Uh, yes. Okay, so it takes practice with time. Yes, it's a it's yeah. practice. It's a question of time. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And what is the best way? Like, if I compare, like listening to single words and sounds, and if I compare this to just listening to you know people in that language, and like listening to a podcast, motivation videos, what is better, like listening to individual sounds or the real speeches? Um, I would say both. 
I would say oh. both. Um, I mean, if you have the opportunity to to speak with native speaker, mm-hmm. it's great. But I think this uh, this possibility is maybe a little difficult, depending mm-hmm. depending on where you live. Um, um, but certainly, if you don't have to, uh, someone, a native speaker around, um, then go for for the for the other for the another way and watch movies, listen podcasts, mm-hmm. and, and yes. But I think both are really important, depending on your on the resources you have. Okay. And yes. Okay, that's great. And. Uh... What would you say to the people who want to become more confident at public speaking? For example, to start uh, speaking and their ideas out loud at home, for example, they mm-hmm. can they can't uh, imitate conversations, and because uh, I know this this might be very problematic if you don't mm-hmm. have the confidence to speak in public. Um, with other foreign, um, with other native speakers, and this has helped me also to to gain more confidence because when I when I am at home, um, I try to say my ideas uh, out loud. I try to to say, okay, for example, if if he or she asks me this, how how would I uh, answer? answer? And and yes, this is um, this is very important because. Um, if you do this exercise, you don't need to be afraid to be criticized because there are a lot of people who are afraid to speak in front of mm-hmm. others um, because they are afraid to be criticized if they mm-hmm. do mistakes. And mm-hmm. and as I said in my video on my YouTube channel, um, mm-hmm. everyone uh, makes mistakes, even if you in your native language, you make mistakes. And this is quite this is quite normal. And just I would say people should dare to speak and don't be afraid or or shy to to express in a new language. Um, And I would say practice at home uh, in front of your mirror, for example, say your ideas. you can also try to imitate, for example, gestures or um, because you know every every culture, every language has a way to express feelings. Yeah, mm-hmm. for example, I don't know, but in my case, I use a lot my my hands. This yeah. is part of my this is part of my culture in, in uh-huh. Peru. People try to use uh, and and yes, so this this will help you to yeah. To, to gain more confidence when, when you speak in a new language. Okay, that's great, yeah. that's great. Okay, and uh, what are the opportunities and benefits for the people who learn, you know, second languages? Like some people think, you know, if I can learn German or Spanish, what is the benefit for me? Like what are the opportunities? So could you please tell us? Uh, in my experience, I would say you can take uh, decisions quickly. Um, mm-hmm. For example, because you are you are uh, talking with someone in a new language, and then, for example, you don't know um, you don't know a word, and then you you have to to use another word. So you take a decision in question of millis, milliseconds, I would say. And this will also this will how do you say to reflect in your in your in your life when you when you take decisions um, or when you make decisions. And I, 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 for example, in my case, um, learning a second language helped me also a lot um, mm-hmm. to learn quickly other, mm-hmm. other new languages. Because, you know, especially if you speak a, a Romanic language, Italian, mm-hmm. uh, Portuguese, yeah, mm-hmm. where words in grammatic um, is quite the same. So mm-hmm. it helps you to, to, to learn things more uh, easier mm-hmm. and also it's a good practice for your brain because your brain is like a is like a um i would say it's like a sponge no sponge, the, the more you yeah. learn the more the, the more you learn no the, the better it gets yeah. yeah and yes for example 
um, I also read an article saying that people who learn more than a la one language, they um, they won't suffer. Um, they won't suffer, uh, you know, Alzheimer. Alzheimer, this uh, disease, and this degenerative disease when you get older and you don't remember things. Okay. So against this, um, this helps against um, this this disease, uh, for example. And I mean, in general, in general, has a lot of benefits. For example, you get uh, you are more open to, um, to to get other cultures, to get um, other point of views, because every language is a world. Mm -hmm. And for me, I think I consider a um, more open mind, uh, open mm -hmm. mind, um, yes, and I accept other cultures. That's why my channel is Cosmopolitan World, because I consider myself to be a side, a citizen, citizen, citizen uh, of the world, yeah? and, mm -hmm. and not only per Peruvian, but uh, I respect every culture in the world. I'm more tolerant with uh, other cultures, other languages, and I love mm -hmm. it. Yeah, and I also believe that like learning languages makes people more creative. They have more opportunities for jobs, business, yes. study, education. It really makes people grow, you know. Yes, uh, absolutely. I mean, for example, you know, you get to know other cultures. You get to know other things that you in your country don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And your, I would say, uh, you learn more things. You learn more mm -hmm. things. You'll be clever if you want to say mm -hmm. it in this way. And mm -hmm. yes, um, yeah. Okay. And is it true, like after we learn our second language, it becomes easier for us to learn the third one? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, absolutely. Uh, but it also depends, for example, on what language you want to learn. For example, yeah. if your second language Okay, let, let's say um, as a Spanish speaker, my second language was English. Okay. And my third language, for example, if I, if I decide uh, to learn Japanese, this is another world because uh, mm -hmm. grammatic is totally quite different, different, quite different. And, but for example, if I try to learn, you know, Portuguese or Italian, it, mm -hmm. it, it, it would be easier to, to learn. And it also depends too much. Uh, the language you want to learn and the language uh, you speak, but absolutely um, gives you, uh, you know, you, when you learn a new language, you uh, develop a method how you want to approach, uh, yeah, to approach um, your learning, and independent, yes, uh, on the language you want to learn. This 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 organization mm -hmm. you get when learning a new language will help you. Um, to learn uh, yeah, a new language. That's great. And what is your advice for the people who are super lazy to start learning? They want to learn, but they are super lazy. <laughs> what would you say to them? To learn easy, a new language. <laughs> yeah. um, I would recommend to learn, for example, a conversation with conversations. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is a quite natural way to learn also languages. I mean, um, I consider that grammatic is also very important, but mm -hmm. if you need for, if you only want to learn language, a new language because you want to travel yeah, and you want to, you, you don't need it for, for your job, uh, you just make it for fun because mm -hmm. you want to travel, you want to ask for a restaurant, or uh, yes, I mean, uh, yeah, things that you you need in in your daily life when you travel, for example, mm -hmm. then maybe it is it is a nice way to to hire a teacher, an online teacher, or to find mm -hmm. a tandem partner on internet. And try to speak as much as possible. I think speak, speak, the yeah, as much as possible. This is this really helps. Uh, this really helps because, for example, I'm learning other other languages. I learned just because um, 
I learn other languages for fun, I would say. Um, I don't need I don't need to learn other languages because of my job or another reason. <laughs> but um, yeah, I started to uh, to speak with native speakers on mm -hmm. via Skype, for example. And mm -hmm. I had the impression I needed I didn't need mm -hmm. to to um, yeah to spend a lot of energy learning grammatic or mm -hmm. uh, sitting um, yeah a lot of hours making exercises or something like this just um, started to speak to speak okay I mean you will make more mistakes if you don't learn the grammar mm -hmm. but it's also a nice way to um, to learn um, a new language uh, comfortably I would say if you don't want mm -hmm. to uh, spend too much energy yes okay, okay, that's great yes, Mr. Carlos I have the last question and okay. that is for that is for old people they believe that age is the matter now they are too old they are 30 or 40 plus that they cannot learn language is it true no never it's late if you have the motivation you want to learn something new age doesn't uh, doesn't matter so yeah, just um, just start to learn a new language or whatever you want, and don't don't be afraid if you are too old to to start a new <laughs> language. Um, it's uh, it's not important. Uh, it's not important, and everyone can also learn new things independent on on your age. Yeah. Okay. So age yeah. is just a number. It's just a number. It's just okay, everything right. is here in, in your brain. <laughs> okay, Lair, thank you yes. very much for yes. your time. So if thank people you. want to if people want to follow you, how can they follow you? Uh, I have a YouTube channel, Cosmopolitan World. And okay. you can also find me. I have also a Facebook page, a Cosmopolitan mm -hmm. World, with the same name. And my Instagram account is Cosmopolitan World Want number one at the end um, and yes so i normally share tips how you how you can learn any language uh, faster and also tutorial for learning uh, new other languages and yes so all right carlos that's great so thank you very much for helping us you are a great motivation for us you inspire people and i'm really grateful to you thank you very much thank you very much bye bye, bye.